What is up, weather enthusiasts? I'm your host, Pat's Path Predictor. Let's get right into the weather. All right, so here's the situation we have for you, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of stuff has been going on over the last 24 hours. Yesterday, we reported that there we had four areas of interest that we need to talk about. Those four areas of interest are still there. However, the chances of them developing in some cases have been increasing considerably. So we need to continue to talk about this. And the two main areas of interest that I am concerned about are this area of interest right here and this area of interest right here that is effect going to be affecting land at some point. We're going to go ahead and start with this one that is looking like it's going to potentially impact Texas right here. An area of disturbed weather located over the southeastern Bahamas and uh, is forecast to move into the Gulf early next week where a broad area of low pressure could form. Some slow development is possible. A tropical depression could form as it moves westward and approaches the Gulf, the coastline, by the middle of next week. We are now at a 40% chance of development in the next seven days. We were at 20% yesterday. Now we are at 40 so the chances have definitely uh, gone up and they are go- looks like it's going to continue to go up, especially with looking at what we are seeing right here with the satellite as we're starting to see increased convection, increased organization of convection convection over here. So this is something we need to watch going forward. And this one right here, we have a 30% chance of formation in the next seven days, 10% in the next 48 hours. And this looks like it's going to be impacting the Lesser Antilles, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, and Haiti right here. That's what's in the cone. Another area of low pressure could form in a day or so from an launch head trough and low pressure low, of low pressure located several hundred miles to the east southeast of the Antilles. Some slow development of this system is possible over the weekend. As tropical uh, as tropical depression could form in the Caribbean Sea, and if you're watching this from Haiti, if you're watching this from the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, the Leeward Islands, Virgin Islands, and Windward Islands, you guys need to monitor this tropical wave because I've been looking at some model runs and we're looking at potentially some big development going on. Now we're going to go ahead and show you what we're talking about. We're going to go ahead and start with the European run that we have right here. It's been showing some potential signs of a lot of development. So as you can see, this this tropical wave right here, it develops before it gets to the Lesser Antilles according to the European strengthens to a tropical depression pretty early on then it starts to organize and strengthen some more getting up to tropical storm strength in the central caribbean before moving basically due west towards haiti and the dominican republic towards hispaniola as a strong tropical storm right here as it moves through then this is where things get interesting for this because this is forecast to now stall out pretty much in uh, north of hispaniola right here due to some cur- uh, currents that are kind of acting like at the the moving cur- like the currents that steer these things it's going to be stalling out and this system according to what we're looking at is looking like it may potentially head more towards the west towards florida and the bahamas right there so this is pretty crazy if the european is true right here and we continue to see this trend this is and this stalls out this definitely could increase the strengthening short term however i'd argue that in the long run with all the upwelling that's going to happen any system It's going to stay there for more than a day or so. It's going to start encountering issues or strengthening. But for now, I'm looking at this and things are about to get a lot more interesting than we thought, folks. So here's what we have for the European. We're going to go ahead and next show you the CMC. And as this tropical wave entering the Caribbean, organizing and strengthening potentially up into a tropical storm right here. However, the CMC is interesting where this puts it. The CMC actually has this potentially making landfall towards Cuba right here and then kind of moving uh, towards the east right here and then starting to strengthen, stays out to sea and starts strengthening up to a hurricane right here. It's, there's also this western system that the CMC is picking up on that's imp- approaching Texas and Mexico right here. Strong tropical storm over here that may be potentially impacting the Brownsville area right there. Something to monitor for sure, and the ensembles will, are picking up on this a lot more than the regular operational models are. So we'll show you the, the ICON model next, and we'll go ahead and kind of give you an idea of what the aggregate's looking at. ICON model has this thing organizing and developing in the Eastern Caribbean Sea, strengthening up to a tropical depression and then tropical storm. T- similar to the European, it has it making landfall in Hispaniola right here. And then it has it stalling out, but it remains a much weaker system according to the ICON. 
Although this thing actually has it a little bit north to the CMC and the European, this tropical wave strength strengthens to a tropical storm, potentially impacts the Corpus Christi, Christi area before moving into north into central Texas right there, bringing some heavy rainfall potentially. So this is something to continue to look at as time continues to go on. I know I keep saying that like a broken record, but it really is. It really is something we need to all pay attention to. Now we're going to go ahead and show you some stuff that's working for and against it. What's easily working for it is the global sea temperatures, 30 plus degrees Celsius from Texas all the way to Haiti, and some parts of the MDR, parts of the Atlantic Basin over here have 30 plus degrees Celsius, 28 plus from pretty much the U.S. Uh, US North American coast right here all the way to Africa, so plenty of warm water. Plenty of ocean heat content, which is what is really concerning me, because let's say this the Europeans correct and moves this thing through the, the Windward Islands and then takes a hard north, tor north turn towards the Dominican Republic or Haiti. It's going to be moving through a lot of ocean heat content, folks. And if the wind shear and the moisture check out and there, there's low wind shear, high enough moisture... This system could definitely strengthen at a pretty robust pace. So this is something to keep an eye on as we continue to move forward. Wind shear has been pretty uh, fluctuative right here for pretty much the whole day. The wind shear is going to be fluctuative. We're looking at some pretty strong wind shear on 40 knots or so in the Eastern Caribbean Sea, but that is expected to decrease in, over the next few days. And parts of the Gulf of Mexico, wind shear is starting to increase in the southwestern corner, but it's ma mainly remained very low throughout where the system is supposed to develop. So that's a, a situation we have right there. Next we're showing you is the shear and moisture components to this. There are forecasts. The shear mainly stays to the north of this tropical wave right here as it approaches the Windward Islands right here, potentially towards Trinidad and Tobago, or a little bit north of there right there. And then things get interesting. The wind shear actually weakens off as this approaches the Central Caribbean and starts uh, making that turn towards Hispaniola. It makes landfall as a strong tropical storm. This is the European forecast right here. If we go ahead and show you what the European showing for the Caribbean, uh, not the Caribbean, the Gulf of Mexico over here. Apologies for that. Um, what we're show, what we're looking at right here, pretty low to moderate wind shear. So I shouldn't have, I'm not gonna, having too many issues with this de potentially developing over there. If we show you the moisture components, all this. Both areas have plenty of moisture to work with. They are both in very robust moisture pockets right there. So definitely a good a good sign for development for sure. And that's why we should all be watching as time continues to go on. Now we're going to go ahead and show you some ensemble runs to wrap this up in a nice little bow. We're going to go ahead and show you the European ensemble because the European ensemble really has this thing ramping up right here. Here's what we have for this Caribbean system moving through right here. It's very concentrated, the first thing I'm noticing, which it, for three days out, that is giving me some pretty much confidence that this thing is likely to going to develop at some point. Now, if we go ahead and show you the Gulf thing, it's also somewhat concentrated as well. And the Europeans been showing a lot more uh, scenarios of her potentially tr strong tropical storm to hurricane scenarios, and some of them potentially impacting pretty much from Houston all the way down to near Monterey, Mexico over there, which is pretty interesting. Let's We'll have to wait and see how this plays out and how strong these systems will get. But if it moves through a lot of that ocean heat content in the Gulf of Mexico, it absolutely has a shot of doing that. But anyway, if we go back to the Hispaniola right here, this thing starts to organize and develop. There have been some ensembles that potentially show a Jamaica or Cuba landfall going through this. However, we'll have to wait and see as there's still some uncertainty before it gets there. But still, in the next five days, we are looking at some potential tropical developments in tech, off the coast of Texas and off the coast of Hispaniola over here. And those are the two I'm going to continue monitoring as time continues to go on. We're going to go ahead and close the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It helps us out, helps us make more videos like these. The goal of this channel is to get more people engaged with weather. But with that being said, have a wonderful day, guys. Stay safe.